And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California, where it is bright, it is early, and we're going to get deep in into these charts real quick. So let's take a look. I got Bitcoin 15-minute range here. What is the 15-minute range? Well, <clears throat> and why would you care about the 15-minute range? You're probably trading on the 4-hour, the 10-hour, the... Daily, 15-minute uh, range actually gets what I believe is kind of the start of initial big moves. Um, and they can clearly be identified by our M formation, which if um, you've been following along with us here, we've been talking about the M that does this. Boom, boom, lower high, and here would be your continuation drive. Now, um, what is particularly happening? So 2660 to the downside. We're getting a bit of volatility going into the Fed meeting after the stock market had a down day yesterday. Yep. Checking in on Mr. NASDAQ. Uh, had a bit of a down day yesterday alongside the S&P. Down day yesterday. And overall, I think we've been saying, look, you know, NASDAQ probably comes down or stays up as long as it holds this green 55. <clears throat> Holding the green 55. If we lose this area today, very likely gonna revisit the lows. I do wanna check in on Mr. Dixie, which is gonna be volatile today. Look at that spike to the downside, following a bit of a parallel channel on that 15 minute time frame to uh, the downside, right? Parallel channels, I don't know why th these things work out pretty good but uh <clears throat> looks like it probably wants to bounce from here gonna put some pressure on our assets that we want to trade uh, but uh bitcoin overall on the higher term time frames looking bullish looking bullish but as i've said kind of the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair until we can get back above this box um Probably not going to give this trend line a test, and this is not the best trend line drawn in. I, I, I don't know what happened there, um, but I can readjust my trend line here. And do you want to use the wicks? In more volatile extreme conditions, the wicks are important. So this does, to me, actually look like, now that I'm looking at this, like she wants to test this trend line as Ethereum has already done so, the weaker asset at the moment. Why is Ethereum weaker than Bitcoin at the moment? Well, all you got to do is look at the ETH Bitcoin pairing and you can see, whoa, whoa, what do you know? That TA stuff starting to work out here and that's why we've been taking the short side on Ethereum. If you're in for some short-term trading, want to learn how to trade, well, I recommend Head on over to Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. Join the VIP Discord for free right now. For free, I highly recommend it. Guys, uh, community of traders, we're going to coach you, teach you, and um, answer your questions. So get it while it's hot, get it while it's free, and we'll go from there. But again, my overall thesis on ETH Bitcoin, probably heading down there and that that might be the potential opportunity for some longs in your favorite altcoins i don't care if it's xrpp coin or doggy coin or any of the coins that everybody likes to pump for no reason you can see quite a bit of red on the day here so giving us the bias that uh, those shorter term trades to the downside are going to work out in our favor for ethereum Highly recommend you guys jump in there. Okay. Back on to our next slideshow. Just kidding here. I want to bring up to our attention here, Bitcoin dominance. Uh, Bitcoin, and, and, you know, continue on with our analysis of Dixie, which does looks like it wants to pop down here. And uh, yellow 21, uh, probably going to be the target. Wouldn't be surprised to see it just wick down there and do a little tappy tap and then dance its way back onto the upside. Overall, our thesis on Dixie, it's gonna be bullish. Uh, why? Uh, well, 
Volatility is now reset on the daily time frame, and well, momentum is still crossed to the upside in the critical zone, and this is just a trending zone. As long as we were kind of above here, I, I mean, yeah, above this this last pivot on our stochastic, our momentum indicator does give us a bit of a bullish bias there for Dixie. And when Dixie is strong, well, and, and today could be the nail in the coffin for actually a retest of this trend line. And that would provide some excellent opportunity in crypto. If we start to see this break down, especially the two day uh, getting out of the critical zone back down, that might be the flush to the upside for a green September for Bitcoin. Um, Let's check out the VIX hanging out in our box of peace and prosperity. And it is, well, if it gets back below there for uh, another, you know, try to the downside, you know, probably going to push markets higher. So back on to the S&P and the daily. And we just said, hey, look, stay bullish until the last higher low breaks down, right? So right now. We've got a lower high, uh, excuse me, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, trend continuation. Let the trend be your friend till the end of the trend. What are the other, let's check out Cardano. Cardano, how are you doing, sir? Well, you, you may have formed a W, closed above the middle peak, targeting a move back up here to the green 55 at 26 cents. That looks good to me. Stokes are up, volatility is low. Now, I would expect a rejection here at 26 cents on the first pass. Going to do a little tappy tap and reject. Bitcoin dominance is breaking out of the channel to the upside. Measure move target on this one is going to be like this. Boom. Back up to our 382 fib, which is where the weak bounces come. I'd expect. 55 to get hit eventually. The 55 percentile Bitcoin dominance. Checking out Stacks. Stacks has taken a brutal beating, but uh, what do you know? Sold off the first pass on this uh, green 55. Actually, second, well, one, two. We've got actually multiple tests. So remember, the more times it gets tested or punched, the more the weaker the trend line gets or the uh, area of interest gets. Matic. Let's see. Matic looks like Cardano. And with the potential for the W formation. Yeah, that one looks good for some upside. How did the five day close? Oh, could be potentially putting in a nice low with some hidden bullish divergence. I'm going to get rid of that and try and make this a little more legible. Hidden bullish divergence. You're gonna have one. Nope, nope. We're gonna have, we're not gonna have it. I think I need another chart for Matic to see if that divergence is there or present. What we wanna see is price making higher lows, RSI making lower lows, and that Let's see if I got another chart for Mr. Matic. How long has Matic been in the game, guys? This is not EA Sports, no. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. So comparing this point, you can see higher low, higher low, potential higher low. How would I confirm this? Well, two days and 10 hours, you're gonna see this candle close. And some people would wait for the closure above 64 cents. I personally would not. I would just be looking for a closure above the last five-day wick right there. So we're right on the line of uh, death and despair for Mr. Matic. Tomo, another one that has been an outlier. What does Tomo do? And I'm going to wrap this up quick today because I got a lot to do. Sorry I missed you guys yesterday. Uh, but... I was slammed working on my bots. Working on my bots. Hmm. Coin market cap, Mr. Tomo. I 
the reason I'm bringing this up, guys, is if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Tomo is. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna make a mistake. Let's just look at what this thing does. Tomo is projected scalability of 30 and blah, blah, blah. Primary driver V of la. The eventual goal of the project is to build blockchain infrastructure, decentralized apps, and improve integrity of security. Tomo's chain solution is to offer smart contract stability. Solves how blockchain can handle a higher number of transaction. I'm thinking of the wrong coin, guys. Tomo. Telegram has a, some kind of a coin that the founders made a coin, and I'm going to be interested in that one. I'll bring it up another day. But this one has been relatively bullish. I failed to provide you uh, why um, there's the potential. But let's just look at the chart and see here. Look at the chart and see. We got a higher low, kind of in a bull flag zone. And... Uh, well, where do the bull flags go? Bull flags tend to break out to the upside, right? And how would you measure that bull flag? Well, breaking out on a candle body closing basis, we would use this level right here. And that's going to be a big move from a dollar fifty to ten bucks. I like this one, guys, and, um, you know, there's going to be stops along the way. Obviously, we hit the 618 perfectly, thrown back to the 236, not always the best bullish sign, but I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and um, wait for that momentum to flip back to the upside as we could get another test of that green 55. And as long as we were kind of holding those higher lows, yeah, um, invalidation only comes below this area. If you're long, you got the golden cross. Mr. Runeberger, uh, Mr. Rune getting uh, a move to the downside, potential short setup right now. Um, let's take a look on the 15 minute if we've got anything to give us a little bias. Now, Short-term bouncy up to the green 55. Look, this is going to come down. Death cross right there. And that's going to be good uh, for a short-term bounce. But you can see on the daily, the higher-term time frames are going to take over. Is this the bull flag breakout for Mr. Rune? Not there yet. Not there yet, but... Uh, <clears throat> We're getting there. She is getting there. So volatility is still increasing there. We got a four hour reset. Again, short term bounce and a test here. Would look nice. Would look very nice. Let me get my colored charts back up here. My colored candles. My colored candles. And remember, all coins are going to do whatever Bitcoin does, but more. All coins are going to do whatever Bitcoin does. Currencies are popping up, hurting the dollar right now. And going to the Fed meeting, the big news. Are we going to get a quarter percent rate hike today? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, if Powell wants to spank the market because gasoline prices are flying to the moon and inflation is higher than we all know it is. And they've been lying to us for a long time. That is the great potential. The great potential. So we're talking about four hour time frame. I wanted to look and see if I was getting an M formation. This is not the signature of an M formation to my best understanding. But it's close and it looks like a double top and a bit of a lower high, lower low. So, wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of downside pressure alongside Bitcoin. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe. Join Bitcoin 101, how to stack stats with technical analysis. Mm -hmm. If you want to join the traders community for free right now. All right, take care, have a blessed day.